Despite how packed 2024 is with incredible game releases, January is one of the slowest months by far. Rather than featuring 20 to 30 games as we so oftentimes do, we're bringing you a meager 14. And although the number is smaller than most months, there are still without a doubt some amazing titles being released this month. I'd like to note that all of these titles we've either chosen because we personally have interest in playing them, or we know a few individuals in our community that would. We've never been paid or promoted in exchange for these features, so rest easy knowing we're only bringing you games that we genuinely feel have a great chance at success. Also, the list is sorted simply by release date, not by our interest level, so something to bear in mind as we head into it. With all the fluff out of the way, grab a fresh cup of tea and get comfortable as we traverse through the world of January games. This next title has slipped under my radar until this week, but after giving it a good hard look, I felt like I needed to feature it. Its blend of point and click puzzle aspects and interactive storytelling, as well as the eerie and curious story it offers, has me just curious enough to share it with the world. It does have some incredibly dark undertones though, so err on the side of caution if you're sensitive to those themes. First up on our list is a plant like roguelike. If you've been around our fort for a while, you'll know that Ducky is a huge fan of this genre in particular. I'm constantly searching for new roguelikes with character and their own unique stories to tell, so when I came across Noxious Weed, I couldn't help but give a giggle. Its charming pixel art and varying types of plant monsters to take on make it a comedic take on a not-so-farming sim. I'm not sure if we'll be able to cover it, but regardless, give it a fair look if you're a roguelike lover. I'm here to save a prince. Are you now? I can't ignore that this year is the year of glorious Metrovanias with unique new 2.5D-ish perspectives that give this eerie 3D feel while maintaining that true side-scroller Metroid feel. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown Story boasts an intensity that you don't usually find in this genre, so we'll get a beautiful blend of high action combat, dramatic cutscenes, and instrumental music, making it a pure joy to experience. Here's to hoping that the gameplay is as good as it looks. Now, I didn't play the first Turnip Boy as it was a point in time that I wasn't gaming much, but I have a feeling that Ducky might just hop into this one, as despite it being more of an adventure game, it has enough bullet hell roguelite features that it falls right into the category of games he enjoys. We're absolutely in for yet another hilarious story and silly characters, so strap in because I doubt Turnips know how to drive a getaway vehicle. The day before my 14th birthday started off pretty bad. But inside, I felt tossed in a storm. I was so excited, but also lost and angry. Switch fans will be happy knowing they're getting an exclusive RPG with a splash of mystery and ghostly magic. There are too many fans of peaceful story games in our community for me to not feature this one. I'm just hoping they have the ability to play it. I will say that the trailer is a bit on the vague side, so I don't feel like we have a strong enough idea of this one to get a good feel for how it's going to be, but we'll have our eyes on it and we'll keep you updated. yes, an eerie and mysterious sci-fi metroidvania. It almost feels like Planet of Lana meets Little Nightmares, with the otherworldly atmosphere but constant tension of feeling like something's gonna reach out and grab you and put an end to your journey. 
Regardless, I'm excited for the cub. And while the theme is on the darker side, I know a fair few people will appreciate this one, easily earning its feature. Ducky and I are both getting sucked into the real-time strategy genre because as of late, games like Stargate Timekeepers are evolving to be more puzzle-esque strategy rather than just outright combat or resource-based. I always crave a good puzzle, so blending sci-fi and adventure elements piques my curiosity just enough to want to give it a try. Whether that happens or not, we'll keep you updated on how this one develops. Where are you going? No! Not into the shroud! No way! You're not ready for this, boss! He'll squash you! But what's going on here? There's more of you now? Oh, so you're teaming up. Uh -huh. I see. If you've seen our Top 20 Adventure and RPGs video for 2024, then you'll know that this game is among that list. Its bold goal of offering a 16-player co-op mode with incredible base-building mechanics, colorful and varying combat styles, and the epic monsters to take down, this one is set to be a good time. It's a good thing it's coming to early access first, as it feels unlikely that this one can deliver on its promises by January 24th, but regardless, we'll keep you updated as it develops. Our world was alive once, or so the stories say. None of us remember what life was like before Ragnarok. The War of the Gods destroyed everything. I've gotten really into unique city builders within the last year, and Roots of Yggdrasil has me too curious not to feature it. The blend of Norse mythology, curious adventure aspects, dramatic music, and deck building gameplay has me excited to see what new features it'll bring to the gaming world. It's coming to early access first, so we'll likely keep you updated with how it develops over time. Well, lately, our old friend the Siryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. It's a pleasure to meet you. Asuka-san, I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Now, we're not fans of the series ourselves, but we have way too many friends that are not to feature this one. Fans of the series can rest easy knowing they'll be getting yet another Yakuza experience, and apparently streaking on the beach of Hawaii is included in that. It'll be fun to see what this new entry to the series brings to the table, and while we won't be covering it, we hope you'll enjoy it if you're picking it up for yourself. Empires, gods, they rise and they fall. The actions of individuals set the course of history, and you are one of them. At first glance, this one might seem like just another CRPG adventure game, but with deeper inspection, we found some incredible non-linear actions and mechanics, and the ability to quite literally alter the world around you. Blended with the typical RPG and adventure elements you love, this one has us keeping a close eye on it for sure, as anything that attempts to bring something new to the table always piques our interest. This is the only title on our list that isn't really a standalone game. We're featuring the upcoming DLC of Eastward as its heavily anticipated title. With its soft pixel graphic style and wonderful ambiance and aesthetic, any RPG and casual lovers will want to give this one a look. I've never played the original Eastward, but I just might take on the challenge if I can find some time. To all the fans of JRPGs and Grand Adventures, this one is for you. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is a party-based RPG that will have you conquering quests and taking on real-time combat against deadly foes. This one's a bit special as it boasts up to a four-player online co-op mode, so gather the squad and party up for an epic adventure through the Sky Realm. This game 
feels like the closest thing to an open world, multiplayer, Pokemon meets gunslinging combat I've ever seen. The very idea of it seems utterly ridiculous, but the trailer looks so good that I feel like we have to check it out. From flying on our own Pokemon to having them alongside us wielding their own set of firearms, I don't know whether to laugh or be excited, or an awkward combination of both. It's coming to Xbox Game Pass day one, so I feel like it has to be somewhat okay, right? I will state that the game has a tentative January date, so if it doesn't release this month, my deepest apologies for getting your hopes up. And with that, we've reached the end of our January featured list. It's been a pleasure putting together these videos recently, and they've been incredibly well received. I'll keep doing my best to bring you quality games from both the AAA and indie gaming worlds, so make sure you tell us in the comments your personal favorite genres and all-time favorite game. We often showcase games based on what we know our community loves, so if you tell us, you'll be included in that. Don't forget to subscribe before you go as we craft these lists every month, so there will always be something new to find. To any developers or publishing teams who would like their game on our radar, use the featured request form in the description to do so. We never guarantee coverage as we'll always screen a title to ensure it matches our community and audiences, but at least you'll know we'll have given it our fair consideration. With that, we'll say thanks for watching, and until next time.